Nice going. You really showed him what the Divine Dragon can do. Now, to Solm Palace. Stay close. I'd hate for you to split off and get lost. Again. Thanks, Fogato. This ought to be interesting. It's been years since I visited the palace. Years? Firene had a good relationship. Our countries are allies, sure, but that doesn't mean our families are close-knit. In fact, out of Solm's whole royal family, my mother and I have only met Queen Sephoria. What? No one else? Nope. Not the royal consort, not the crown princess, and not her brother the prince. That's strange. I never met them either. Same thing happened to you, huh? I may have forgotten the way to the palace, but I remember well what happened there. It was a strange scene. The queen received us alone, with no one attending her. When we asked to meet the princess and prince, she told us they weren't there. She told us the exact same thing! I asked when they'd be back, and she said, no idea. It didn't make sense. If you're royalty, you can't leave your castle whenever you like. I got the feeling she was hiding them from us. But why? Were they sick or shy? Shy? That would surprise me. Everyone we've met here has been so friendly. The Queen is too. There are just some things about the royal family that don't add up. Let's be on guard, alright? Got it. We're here! Solm Palace. Now all that's left is asking those guards to open the gate. Thanks for leading the way, Fogato. I don't know how we'd have gotten here without you. Of course. Just another day in the life of a sentinel. I'll be sure to commend you to the Queen. Anyway, now we'd better be on our way. Huh? Uh, Fogato, what are you doing? Talking to the guards! What else? Does he have a meeting with the Queen as well? Beats me. Maybe he's here on some kind of sentinel business. Fogato, wait for us! Hey, I'm home! Home? Welcome back, Prince Fogato. I'll open the gate. Yes, let the gate be open! Prince. Did that guard say Prince? Uh, unless we misheard him. In exactly the same way. Thanks for waiting, folks. Fogato, we're a little confused. Are you... the Prince of Solm? Did I not mention that? Uh, no. You didn't. Whoops! <laughs> Egg meat face! Right, let me do this properly. I'm Fogato, captain of the Sentinels, and the Prince of Solm. Welcome to my family's palace. Come on in! You wanted to meet Mom, right? Mom! Visitors! What is happening? I didn't realize he was royalty. Prince personally going on patrols. Not something you see every day. I wonder why we never met him before. He doesn't seem sick. He's certainly not shy. It's a mystery. Anyway, let's head in. Don't want to keep Prince Fogato waiting. <laughs> Stolen, miserable, torn apart from your friends. How delicious. Lady Vale. Zephia, tell me, what are the Divine Dragon's forces up to? They pass through the Shadowy Moor. It appears they've arrived in Solm. So they did not return to Brodia. They're gathering more rings. Good. Can we go after them, Lady Vale? I'm itching for a rematch. Patience, Marnie. If we wait, we can steal Solm's ring from them along with the others. Oh, smart. I'll be a good girl and wait then. You are a treasure, Marnie. Isn't she just the pride of the Four Hounds? <laughs> you two really heap on the praise. That's why I love ya. <laughs> You're such a child. Praise is for chumps. It's much more fun to be punished. Worry not, Gris. You will soon have all the agony your heart could want. That's what I like to hear. The perks of the gig right there. And you, Mavir? How would you like to be rewarded? Nothing for me, my lady. You won't even say my name. 
How cold. Uh... That's all right. For now, we wait. We watch. And then, when the time comes... <sighs> Lady Vale? I've been awake for too long. I must sleep. Here are your instructions. Zephia, take charge. As you wish. Ah, the breeze, the smell, so much like home. Home? Do you mean the world you're from? Yes. This place is just like the Sake Plains. That's where I was born. I remember their beauty well. When I was young, those plains seemed to stretch forever. It truly is wonderful scenery. And the wind is so pleasant. It makes me happy to hear you say that. Even if this is not my true homeland. We woke at dawn and tended to our cattle, caught game, and slept when the sun set. That was every day of my life growing up on the plains. But it didn't last forever. Can you tell me what happened? The Lorca tribe, my people, were attacked by vicious bandits. They killed so many of us. The bandits were cowardly. They poisoned our drinking water, then attacked in the chaos. That's terrible. Yes, but the Sakai Plains are our motherland and have always blessed us with their bounty. It is a place I love deeply, though it holds many painful memories. Enough mourning. The sense of this place is exciting me. Ready your sword. I'll show you the true skill of a Lorca tribe warrior. I can't wait. You won't beat me easily, though. I've overcome so many hardships in my life. And more will come, I'm sure. But our bond will grow stronger with this fight, as will my power. So whatever you do, don't hold back. Wow, you beat me soundly. You're very strong. And you were as skilled as I expected. Very powerful, too. I wonder if I could be like you. If I grew up on the plains, I mean. <laughs> Perhaps. I learned to fight out here, but I learned more when I met Elliewood and Hector. We traveled long and far together. Sometimes we compete with one another, just like this. They helped me to learn of justice and courage. And they gave me the strength to trust others. And that strength has made me who I am today. When I woke, I had no memories and no one I felt I could rely on. But now I have so many friends around me to teach me about the world and about myself. I hope that at the end of my journey, I'll be as strong as them and you. You'll definitely become much stronger. I'm sure of it. Of course, I'll help too. Thank you, Lin.